take a moment to review these four chords before you move on to the practice. Starting with this one, okay. Why is it saying that? Oh, I'm not doing the right string, that's why. Let's do it at the top. Sorry. So because I thought I was starting from the bottom. Oh, because it's the E string, yeah, because the, the, the bottom string is also an E string. That's why it's getting confused. If I can get it, I probably won't be able to, but this time I'm just going to keep going through the whole thing. Just so I can get practice with the later parts. <laughs> Normally I would have quit there, but oh well. I don't know how that was a mess though. I don't know how that was a mess. No idea. That's a mess too. Apparently that was a mess as well. I don't think I got it. If I would've got those first three notes, I might've actually got it though. Maybe not. It was those three that I missed earlier. That was your most accurate playing yet. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe not. I mean, maybe in that 
I would have got 80%. Not maybe, and that is the most accurate because it's not. I got 78% before. Damn, I, I was too slow there. I don't know how that was a mess though. But now I'm already screwed. I hit that. That was bullcrap. I hit that too. Oh, it counts that though. I don't know if that was enough. We'll see. If I had got those two at the beginning, it for sure would have been enough. And that yes! I finally got it. God damn it. I was trying that all yesterday and I couldn't do it, but... Okay, that's well that, I didn't finish that one but it says I already did that okay I didn't I didn't remember doing that huh I'm gonna try this again just because I don't remember now that you what it's like Oops. Don't do so well. Okay. I wish I got that, but... Yeah, I, I messed, I'm messing up a lot. I didn't do so well there. It says I got it before though, huh? And that oh, I got it that time too. The background music. C major and G major are two chords that you'll frequently find together in a song. C Let's major, check out G the major. C major chord first. Okay. To play the C major chord, 
Use your first finger to press down the B string at the first fret. Your second finger to press down the D string at the second fret. And your third finger to press down the A string at the third fret. Strum five strings, being careful to leave out the low E string. Be sure to arch your fingers and only play with your fingertips so that you don't accidentally touch the open G or high E strings. It may feel a little bit difficult at first to stretch your fingers this far, but with practice, your fingers are gonna get much stronger and this is gonna feel more natural. Let's try C major with the practice track. Okay. It's like a pretty simple and but we'll see if I can get it. Now you're ready to try it yourself. So that's pretty simple so far. I missed. I don't know how I missed that, but okay. G major is one of the most common guitar chords. To play it, put your first finger oh, on the okay. A string at the second fret. Your second finger on the low E string at the oh, third fret. We already did fret. this before. And your okay. third finger on the high E string at the third fret. This is going to be hard. There are a few other alternate fingerings of this chord, but this is a good one to start with. Strum all six strings, yeah, making sure like... that your first finger doesn't accidentally touch and mute the D string. Let's try the G chord a few times with the practice track. See what it's doing. Okay, so she's going like. Okay, now it's your turn. Give the practice track a try. Feels really weird to hold it like that, but okay. I guess I'm supposed to do. so awkward. We got it at least, but what are you doing? Amazing accuracy. Damn, I still can't trim a little bit for The next lesson is probably going to make me switch between the two. 
I already know that for sure. Let's try combining these chords with a few you already know. Uh oh. <laughs> In addition to C and G, this next practice track also includes A minor and E minor. Can't even read that quickly. Oh my god. Is it the right one? God damn. We have to do this note by note for sure. includes all four chords, you'll sometimes encounter several of the same chord in a row, like you just saw with the A minor chord. Just remember that the four chord shapes should be possible to play at any time, so be prepared to shift between them when you see them. But I know on. Look at this. I couldn't even, my mind couldn't even process it that quickly. I don't even, it doesn't seem right, but apparently it is. That chord, I feel like we've already done that before. There's what over there. Well, there is a charger for it, but it's right. My cell phone's gonna have to do it. It's just a USB Type C, so we should have more. We should have a few of them. See that part at the end. I guess it's supposed to help me get my percentage up. But it's not working. Do that quickly. Okay. Probably choose the ones that are easier to switch between as well. Doesn't sound right. This didn't even count my. Curious is if it's gonna count me as when complete it. I don't think it does. No. That's what I thought. I'm gonna try it, but Ah, oh, come on.
Okay, well that the story's starting off. It's a disaster. I thought I had it. But at least. Okay, I didn't maybe I didn't think I had it, but I thought I had better than that at least. It says I missed that. I don't know why I'm missing. I thought for sure that I was doing the right notes there. That. I knew that was wrong. That, I don't know why that was wrong. It's too fast for me. Yeah, I knew I was gonna mess up. That. I didn't think I was gonna mess up though. I don't understand why it's saying that's wrong. Am I doing the am I doing the wrong frets? Oh, it's the second and third, I think. All right, not the first and second. That might have been why. New best accuracy. Not good at all. Not good at all. All right. Leave after this. Shifting and slides. Uh oh. See, got for advanced. Middle techniques. What's pitch harmonic? I. See. You. Hey, it's Marge. Pinch harmonics give extreme metal leads and solos their distinctive high-pitched squeal. They're also notoriously difficult to learn, but we've got some tricks to make it easier. It's really difficult. As you would when playing any extreme metal technique, use the distortion channel on your amplifier and a generous amount of gain. It'll make it easier for the pinch harmonic to ring out. Playing through the bridge or lead pickup to add brightness to your tone is another way to make your pinch harmonics really pop. Using higher output pickups Good helps. Dance. They boost the frequencies, which will give the harmonic more sustain. What's higher, like a humbucker? Oh, that's what they do. There are two major challenges when attempting pinch harmonics. The first is making sure your pick and thumb are touching the string at exactly the same time. This requires adjusting your pick grip so that your thumb hovers slightly over the pick. Use all downstrokes and be careful not to mute the string with your thumb after striking it. The second I'm doing that. challenge is to locate and pick within the sweet spot on the string. This spot varies depending on your instrument and which note you want to have a harmonic, but it's often between the bridge and neck pickups, 12 frets above the note you fretted. You'll also find that some frets and strings are harder than others to produce pinch harmonics. Generally, having lower tension on your strings makes them easier to play. You can lower the tension on your strings by tuning down. This will make it easier to do. So that's why they're down tuned. Maybe that's not why they're down tuned, but one of the also, reasons why. Playing pinch harmonics on the higher strings requires a lot of precision. So try practicing on the lower strings first before working your way up to the higher strings. 
as you keep experimenting with pinch harmonics, you'll discover the right speed and motion oh, no. to play them consistently. Practice them in the songs you find in the Rocksmith Plus library, and I'll see you next time. What's a tr tr trill? Hey, it's Marge. A guitar trill is a rapid alternation of two notes on the same string using a combination of hammer-ons and pull-ons. It's a common technique in many extreme metal songs. Let's try it out in some riffs. Like that, I guess. Oh, yeah. Let's start with a simple half-step trill. Place your first finger on the third fret of the low E string and use your strumming hand to pluck the string once. While the string is still ringing out, use your second finger to hammer on and pull off between the third and fourth fret. Start slowly, then gradually increase speed. Trills are usually played rapidly, but it's not enough to just play them fast. They need to be played in time, so rhythmic accuracy is key. Practicing with a metronome is recommended so that you lock into a consistent tempo. If you're just getting started, it's a great idea to practice hammer-ons and pull-offs individually to work on your yeah. control before combining them into the trill. Most trills are either a half or a whole step, but some go as wide as a major third interval. Let's try a popular interval in extreme metal, a minor third trill. As before, use your first finger as an anchor on the third fret of the low E string and use your strumming hand to pluck the string once. This time, use your fourth finger to hammer on and pull off quickly between the third and sixth frets. It can feel like quite a stretch at first, but with more practice, it'll start to feel more natural. Very complicated, but. As always, don't push yourself too hard. If you feel pain or discomfort, take a break. As you get more comfortable with trills, try mixing it up. If you play a variety of notes and intervals, you'll build strength and speed across all of your fretting fingers. Look for trills and songs in the Rocksmith Plus library, and I'll see you next time. This, no, I'm trying to remember if it's... Because if I did it on the other one, this is what it sounds like. I think I might have done this, but I'm supposed to. But I'm not 100% sure. Happy, and there we go. Hey, it's Marge. One of the most exciting aspects of playing extreme metal guitar is being able to produce fast licks. And fretboard tapping is a great way to play a steady stream of continuous notes at high speeds. As one of the more advanced metal guitar techniques, tapping requires a good deal of time and effort to master. So let's start with the basics. A single tap with the strumming hand. We recommend dialing in a generous amount of gain on the distortion channel on your amplifier. Your master volume can remain relatively low, especially while you practice. Use the tip of one of your strumming hand fingers to tap the 12th fret of the high E string to sound the high E note. The first or second yeah, finger usually works best. I, I do understand the it's too quiet. Strong, like a hammer on. And like guitar, but I can't make it any louder. Keep your finger on the fret so the note suspends. Mute the lower strings with the palm of your strumming hands. So they don't ring out while you tap. If you've been using a pick so far, you can palm it by tucking it between your unused fingers and the palm of your hand. Now release the tap note by doing a pull-off, flicking the string as you remove your fingertip so that you're plucking the string slightly. Some players prefer to pluck the string downwards, others flick the string upwards. Either way, the goal is to get the open string to sound by plucking it again with your strumming finger. Repeat the hammer-on pull-off motion a few times and gradually increase the speed. You'll want all of the notes to sound at the same volume, so listen carefully to make sure you're hammering on and pulling off with sufficient force. Yeah, no way I can do this now. <laughs> the sound's not even coming out 
very well. Now that you have the basic tapping technique down, let's add some notes with the fretting hand to create a three-note combination, the most common melodic shape used in tapping. Fret up the seventh fret, then add a hammer-on on the tenth fret with your fourth finger of your fretting hand. Finally, tap at the twelfth fret using the first finger of your picking hand. Repeat that three-note sequence. Fret the seventh, tap the tenth with one hand, tap the twelfth fret with the other, then pull off to play the seventh fret and repeat the taps. Uh, that's hard. Remember to monitor the amount of force you're applying when hammering on and pulling off to make sure all of the notes sound even and clear. There's certainly a lot more you can do with fretboard tapping, but these tips should help you get started with the technique. Practice tapping in the extreme metal songs that you find in the Rocksmith. Extreme metal songs. There's not even that many songs in this. They gotta put more songs on this. They should have like, how many songs they got? I'm curious. How many sensors do they have? I don't see it. There you go, 8,613. They should have... Well, considering... A lot of times I'm still not finding... Instead of 8, they should probably have like more like 100,000 songs. That would well, give us some good variety. Although that would take forever, I guess, for them to do. They should at least do the songs they had Rocksmith 2014. New age. Basic. So there's 6,000 basic, 1,000 no novice, advanced, so there's almost... Should be more. I don't know, I guess that's good enough for now anyways. I woke up a bit later than I want to do, so we got less time to do stuff. <laughs> 